What's up, all you lovely people? Welcome back, or welcome for the first time. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. It really does mean a lot to me. Today, we're going to get into the seventh day of 31 Days of Halloween Horror. So stick around. You're afraid to die. How do you know? You've never tried it before. All right, seventh day of Halloween, 31 days of Halloween horror. It's getting harder to, to try to come up with ways to give clues in the thumbnail. Uh, I mean, I'm always going to like blur out the poster. I feel like sometimes it's still going to be a pretty good giveaway. I'm trying to incorporate the fonts in there as well. But anyways, if you haven't guessed what today's or the seventh days was, one more second. Before that, if you could like the video... Consider subscribing, really just help me out. Go check out the other videos in this playlist. Uh, I'm, I'm on day 7 now, but we're going to work all the way through day 31. But with that out of the way, Pet Cemetery Bloodlines. That's right, another new movie. Uh, just came out, uh, straight to streaming type of deal. And this might surprise some people, but I actually enjoyed it. And I think that is the power of expectations. <laughs> I was not expecting anything good from this movie. And I think because of that, I actually enjoyed it more. I, I don't even, it's going to be a tough one to do again because it's, um, it's a new movie. I don't want to spoil it for anyone. All right. If you don't know, Pet Cemetery Bloodlines is the story. It's a prequel. It's the story of Judd Crandall and how he came to be. Uh, and if you don't remember Judd Crandall, he's kind of the, uh, he's the crazy Ralph of this franchise. I would call he's the, he's the warning. He's the, uh, the guy who lets you know, hey, you're going to die. Some things are going to go down. Uh, in the original movie, he was played by Fred Gwynn. I think in the most recent movie, um, starring Jason Clark, I think he was played by John Lithgow. So it's that character and how he came to be the character he is. So it's an interesting take because prequels are always difficult because you know how it has to end. You know how things have to turn out for the movie you've already seen, so the ending can only go a few ways. However, I think they still pull it off here, because it was it was something where... I'm going to talk about the movie, I guess. Uh, spoiler alert. Uh, slight spoilers. You know Judd Crandall isn't leaving Ludlow. You know he's not, because in the movie... And in, in the, the full-on Pet Cemetery, not prequel, you know he's still there. So, you know he's not getting out. And the story. this is a story of him trying to leave Ludlow. His father, very proud of him for doing so. And what happens between him trying to leave and him deciding to stay. Those are, those are the, the events that take place in this movie. Now... It's, I don't know, like I said, I, I was pleasantly surprised by it, partly because I had very, very low expectations. I consider this to be a prequel to a remake, and you know, there's not high hope there. There's not high hope at all, because I wasn't considering this a prequel to the original Pet Cemetery. I was considering this a prequel to the Jason Clark Pet Cemetery. So this is the Judd Crandall that turns into John Lithgow. And with those things in mind, I, I enjoyed it more than I thought it would. There was a couple things in there that didn't really make sense. There's some CG moments that were a little eh. But other than that, I thought a lot of the people did very well. The person that played Judd Crandall, Jackson White, did pretty good. However, the person for me that really stood out was Jack Mulhern, I believe his name is, as Timmy Baderman. He's a soldier, and he, he, it's the opening scene of the movie, so it's not really a spoiler. He's the person who gets brought back to life in the cemetery. And he he plays a soldier who was killed in war, or a Marine, I think. Should probably clarify that. They do not like it when you mix them up, but he plays a, a serviceman who was killed in the line of duty, and his father buries him and brings him back by the way father played by um david Duchovny, had no clue he was going to be in the movie i literally knew nothing about this movie before i watched it other than it was coming out and it was a prequel to pet cemetery so another person who who showed up that i was very surprised to see pam greer haven't seen her in a while and she killed it i was very very pleasantly surprised by you know by her uh, showing up in this movie and she did a great job another one i want to point out is uh henry thomas as dan crandall that's judd's father and i've i've always loved him he was in haunting of hill house he played the father did a really great job in that but also he was in another stephen king 
adaptation. Um, he played the bartender in Doctor Sleep, and the bartender he's he was the one who was made to look like Jack Torrance from uh, from The Shining, and he did a great job. I think he got I think he got uh, Jack Nicholson's mannerisms down and everything. I think he did a really good job there. Overall, the movie is just it, it dives a little bit more into the community and how they what they know about the land and how they actively try to protect everything. So, okay, I'm not going to say really good. It's a surprisingly good for me look at it. And I know some people probably don't think the movie's that great. I haven't watched any reviews or anything on it yet. I just know I went in expecting something very, very mediocre. And I was pleasantly surprised. And I, that's a good thing for me. Uh, I'd love to know if you've watched it, how you feel about it. But I think I'm going to end it there before I spoil anything. Rating this one is going to be a little hard. Um, it's not gr it's not a great movie. I'm trying to keep my trying to keep my actual view on the movie in in the forefront, not just compared to my expectation. But it's not going to be bad. I'm going to actually I'm going to give this two and a half out of five pumpkins. That's a if you if you're measuring at a ten, that's a five out of ten because I don't think the movie was bad. I don't think it was all that great. It was I think it was a successful prequel to a remake so two out of five or 2.5 out of five pumpkins so yeah my night number seven was pet cemetery bloodlines have you seen it if you did what do you think about it drop that down in the comments and what did you watch on your night seven and with that i love you all i'll see you tomorrow have a great safe week